If you're thinking about moving to the Orlando area, there's some things that you might want to know. My family and I have lived here for over six years now, and there's probably 10 things or so that I wish I knew before we moved here that we're going to get into on this video. So stay tuned. The one thing you gotta know about Orlando is that although it's the theme park capital of the world, it's not the only thing to do here. You might be moving here because of Disney or even despite Disney. The cool thing about Orlando is you have a ton of nature to take advantage of. There's a hundred lakes in the city of Orlando. There's the Butler chain, there's the Harris chain, there's the Conway chain. So if you're into outdoor sports, you're looking to bike, run, lake sports, all that kind of stuff, there's going to be something for you on top of being able to use the theme parks as your amenity. That's something my family and I would love to do. And some days you want to be at the parks and others you don't when it's kind of too busy. But there's something to do for everybody here in Orlando. One thing that I always thought when I moved to Orlando, and this is number two tip to think about, is the food scene. For the longest time, it was really just the chains everywhere you went. Applebee's, Red Robin, that kind of stuff. The amazing thing that's happened here in Orlando recently is the downtown area and a lot of the little pocket areas, like today we're here in downtown Winter Garden, they're getting their own food halls, there's like all these little artisans popping up. Shout out to Jeff's Bagel Run, the best bagels in Orlando, make sure you check them out, they're in Ocoee. And so you had this sort of like vibrant food scene that's starting to pop up, much more so than just the chains that you're probably used to if you've been here on vacation. The third thing to know about Orlando is our weather. Yes, we're in the sunshine state, but we only get about 266 days of sun per year. Did you know that Florida is the lightning capital of the entire country? And we see a lot of that here in Orlando. It's actually getting ready to change. It looks like an even rain today after it's been sunny all morning. And so, yes, it's gonna be sunny. Yes, during the summertime, it's hot and humid, but you do get a bit of a reprieve with all of these kind of rainy days. And so you have to plan accordingly something to know. Another reason I love Orlando and that I didn't realize when we moved here is that not a lot of people are actually from Orlando. You have somebody that you run into that was born and raised here and it's kind of like finding a unicorn. Instead, you've got people from all over the world. My clients alone have come from dozens of other countries to call Orlando home. And so if you're nervous about moving here and finding community, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that move here that are also going to be looking for the same thing that you're after. Another reason I love calling Orlando home. The sixth thing about Orlando that you need to know is that a lot of our home sales here are new construction. And with the supply chain issue going on, that could potentially take you a year to get into your new home, if not more. And so we have a lot of older homes that have been rehabbed. You've got a lot of these downtown areas that are seeing some kind of like major shifts where you have builders coming in and rehabbing homes. But 30% of our sales across Central Florida are gonna be new construction. And so if you're not familiar with that process, you can make sure you reach out, happy to help. The number seven tip I would give if you're thinking about moving to Orlando is that there's a massive difference between living in the city of Orlando, especially the downtown area and the suburbs. That might sound like, oh yeah, that's easy to know. But like most people think of Orlando, they think, especially if you're coming to as a Disney fan, you might think celebration, you might think some of the resort Airbnb areas, but those are very, very different than some of these downtown areas that are fantastic. Specifically like downtown Orlando, you've got the parks area, you've got College Park, Baldwin Park, Thornton Park, Delaney Park, a lot of these cool little up and coming areas getting gentrified. And so if you're looking for more of a non-suburb opportunity with good schools, that exists. If you're looking for that really upscale older neighborhood, Winter Park might be for you. Um, but if you're looking for something new, something a master plan community with a resort style pool, we have that too. And so my suggestion to you would be come visit our area, take a drive around. We can give you sort of a map of the area on spots to hit and help you dial in that lifestyle that you're looking for. All right, so we got three more to talk about, and the big one that a lot of people ask me about is schools. So our schools are actually run by the county level instead of so many areas around here which are run by the city level. You do have a lot of private options as well. You have Windermere Prep, you've got Lake Highland Prep, Bishop Moore. There's a bunch of other little ones around Orlando, but they're also really good pockets of amazing public schools. And so make sure you check out online. We can actually give you some resources on rankings and grade reports and all that good stuff to help make your decision a little bit easier. One thing to budget for when you're moving to Orlando are our toll roads. Now, I'm coming from Michigan where there's potholes everywhere. They'd swallow your car and you'd have to pay for repairs. Here, instead of paying for repairs, you pay for toll roads. And so I would budget roughly $100 a month if you're gonna be commuting for work any given time. 
time. i4 just opened up a new i4 Ultimate that's gonna be like 50 cents to $3. It's dynamic pricing. And so just something to budget for when you're moving to Orlando. One of the last things to talk about is our job market. Moving here, you might be working from home, you might be getting relocated for your new job, but here's kind of the industries that are starting to emerge and dominate beyond the hospitality industry that we're already known for. We have a ton of aerospace coming this way. We've got healthcare. There is an emerging tech space. The Lake Nona area is just blowing up with new companies coming to the area. So it's really cool to see Orlando start to emerge away from just the hospitality, although that's still a massive thing here, but start to diversify into other industries. One of the major things that we need a lot of help with are our trades. So if you're an electrician, a plumber, a roofer, a framer, there's a lot of construction going on on the commercial and the residential space. And so lots of opportunity here in Orlando. All right, so that's 10 things to think about if you're considering moving to the Orlando area. Things that I wish I knew about really was slowing down just to get to know the areas a little bit better before we jumped in and made a move. And so if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere in Central Florida, my team and I, we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure you reach out at info at posicgroup.com. And then before you leave, hit the subscribe button as we're putting out new videos multiple times a week about life here in Orlando. We'll see you guys on the next video.